The Apple engineer who let his daughter vlog with a brand new iPhone X has been fired. But what did you expect was gonna happen? Hey you, it's me, Curtis P. It's time for some coffee. This really should come as no surprise to anyone here. Last week, Brooke Peterson gave us a first hands-on video right from inside of Apple, thanks to her dad handing over his new iPhone 10. The bad news though, well, he's been fired because of this. The video posted on Brooke's YouTube channel last week went viral because of course it was like the first hands-on video of the iPhone 10. Many online tech publications latching onto it and sharing it everywhere. Because for the first time, there was no fancy press shots, no scripts to follow, it was just Brooke playing with the device for the first time and her dad showing off some fun new features. But as quickly as it went viral, Brooke pulled it from YouTube. But of course, as we all know, once you put something on the internet, it's really hard to take it down. So the latest chapter in this entire story again comes from Brooke as she posted on her new YouTube channel talking about the incident and how it ended with her father being let go from Apple. According to Brooke, it was Apple that requested the original video being pulled from YouTube and it was her father's fault in the end. He strictly violated Apple's company rules by allowing her to film the unreleased phone on Apple's campus. Now, something that was missed by many during the video, we actually get a look at a very special employee-only QR code, which shouldn't be shared with the public, and thanks to the Notes app, some names of some unreleased products inside of Apple. Though any of the videos that I could find online, they really weren't high enough quality to make out what the Notes app really said. But again, not something Apple would want leaking out. Now again, like I've said before, I'm not really surprised this has happened. As soon as I saw the video online last week, I started downloading it immediately because I was like, this is gonna get pulled off YouTube right away. And beyond that, well, it is a pretty clear violation of the company rules. Keeping with the iPhone 10 related talk, everybody, Friday was a big day for Apple as the iPhone 10 went up for pre-orders and the company has already stated that orders were off the charts. Apple also stating that they're working very hard to get the revolutionary new product into the hands of every customer who's ordered the product and as quickly as possible. Now currently the iPhone is back ordered up to five to six weeks if you were to order it today. And one place you should probably avoid pre-ordering the brand new iPhone 10 is Best Buy as it looks like the company is charging extra for the brand new phone. If you were to pre-order the iPhone 10 from Best Buy, you'd have two options to pay for the brand new phone. The first is upfront full price, which makes sense. The second is an installment plan so you can pay per month. The big difference here though is if you want to pay the full price up front, you have to pay an additional $100 for the device for really no reason. It basically looks like Best Buy is hoping to convince more people just to sign up for the installment plan. In a statement from Danielle Schumann, a Best Buy spokesperson, she said, our prices reflect the fact that no matter a customer's desired plan or carrier or whether a customer is on a business or personal plan, they're able to get the phone the way they want at Best Buy. Our customers have told us they want this flexibility and sometimes that has a cost. Now overall, when you really dive into it, it's a super strange way to get people to pay for the installment plan because you know, Best Buy wants that money over time, not just up front. But it's also not the first time the company has done something like this. If you wanted a Pixel 2, you could actually, again, pay in full, or you could pay with a payment plan. But the payment plan itself was $100 less than the retail price, which is great. You save $100, right? Like Google's selling the phone for $900 online, but Best Buy has it for $800 if you use the installment plan. But with the iPhone 10, they're charging an extra $100 on top of Apple's price just to pay straight up, which is super dumb. So in the end, if you're thinking about buying an iPhone, make sure you shop around to find the best possible price. Most places will of course have all the same price because that's set out by Apple, but some businesses might try to upsell you for really no good reason. So with the iPhone 10 being pre-ordered on Monday, how was your pre-order experience? Let me know down below. Mine was all right, but um, I had some problems with the app, so it didn't load as fast. Thus, I'm waiting like three to four weeks for my device, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, let me know down below. If you didn't order a pre-order iPhone, tell me something else. Cool. Next up into some quick news, NASA has released a compilation of spooky space sounds just in time for Halloween. Some of the sounds coming from a spacecraft crossing across Jupiter's magnetic field or plasma wave sounds, Saturn's radio emissions, and the sound of a comet passing by the Earth on February 14th, 2011. You can find a link in the description down below to check them all out. It's 
pretty cool to listen to. Next up, Elon Musk has released the first photo from inside of the Boring Company's brand new tunnel in LA. The first ever tunnel from the company is under Los Angeles and runs parallel to the Interstate 405. Now in the future, Elon hopes to shuttle electric cars through the tunnel at a speed of up to 150 miles per hour with special exit and entrance ramps every mile or so along the way. And last quick item for the day, Google CER Sundar Pichai has announced up to 100 million hours of YouTube is watched every single day on a smart TV. Going on to say that YouTube continues to see phenomenal growth, especially in the smart TV platform, and YouTube is focusing this year on three new items, improving the community experience, driving further growth, and growing the YouTube Red subscription service. Well, next up into the future world of flying cars, everybody, as Airbus has announced their new flying car called the City Airbus will be ready for flight next year. The project has been in the works for years, but now we're finally getting a better look at what is expected next year. The City Airbus looks a lot like a large scale drone. It'll feature four electric rotors and it'll be able to carry four passengers at a time. Now, overall, the idea for City Airbus is to transport passengers on short flights in dense urban areas to connect major transportation hub. Now along with that, the vehicles will fly on a predetermined route up to 80 miles per hour, and for the first couple of years, it'll be flown by a pilot. So at this point, if you really think about it, City Airbus is basically just like a fancy looking helicopter. But in the future, they're actually planning on allowing the vehicles to fly themselves automatically, but really the overall flight distance is gonna be limited due to the electric batteries on board. So overall, it'll be really interesting to see this thing fly for the very first time, like it's a cool new concept, but in the end, is it gonna cost the same amount of money as like a helicopter flight? Probably at this point. Don't expect to have one of these things parked in your driveway. It looks a lot like a real fancy helicopter, probably just for the rich. But with that, we arrive at the end of the video for today, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit up that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of the latest videos that I produce throughout the entire week. You can also find other videos just like this one on screen right now, so make sure you check those out. Well, until next time, everybody, I don't have my coffee in my hand, now I do. I'm Curtis Parody. have an amazing day.